Allegedly responsible for stealing copper from a Des Moines business have been captured, police said. Um, the most recent break-in occurred at 2.30 a.m. Monday, and the company, which is Kelderman AG Lime, lost about $2,500 when copper wiring and pipes were removed from electrical control boxes. Okay, so they installed security cameras, and then they worked with those images, and then scrap uh, copper dealers. And between that, the police were able to arrest Des Moines residents Dustin Green, Joshua Rankin, and Merrill Hankins Jr., or the third. Um, copper thieves also broke into Wallace Elementary School at 1401 East 12th Street over the weekend and removed copper pipes. And police were told it was the third time in as many days that pipes had been stolen from the vacant school. But no signs of forced entry could be found. Bill Good, Chief Operations Officer with the Des Moines School District, said hundreds of feet of piping was ripped from the ceiling, sinks, and boiler room. So there's that issue. It's West Des Moines Public Library. I wanted to um, read off, and this is coming from uh, the Wednesday, February 23rd, Des Moines Register. Grandstad promotes job plan for Iowa, and it says Governor Terry Grandstad spent Thursday, sorry, Tuesday afternoon asking Des Moines suburbanites to help him win tools from the legislature to stimulate job growth. Brandstad and Lieutenant Governor Kim Reynolds held town hall meetings in West Des Moines and Johnston on Tuesday to push a package of tax changes that the governor insists are essential for him to live up to a campaign pledge to create 200,000 jobs in um, Iowa. So there's a great deal of concern about um, doing something like that. I'm concerned that he went to West Des Moines to um, ask for help in cutting taxes, I believe, which is what he mentioned or forecast um, during his campaign, and which he's also talked about at various meetings, um, cutting the commercial taxes. The plan also calls for a four-year sunset on state rules to determine their effectiveness and a requirement that any future proposals from the State House come with a jobs impact statement. So that was also something that he discussed uh, very clearly at the Iowa Business Council uh, when he addressed their 25th anniversary, that that was what he would uh, implement. So he's staying true to script. Responding to a question from a West Des Moines audience of roughly 80 people, the governor insisted that casinos, not homeowners, will fill the extra burden of any corporate tax cut. All right, so that's very interesting also that he's transferring the burden to the casinos and not the homeowners because that was an uh, issue of concern um, from city leaders in the Des Moines area that by cutting property taxes, that would increase the burden on homeowners. 
Terry Branstad contends that he will be transferring that burden to casinos. Uh, with higher business taxes, quote, the only thing they're attracting to Illinois is Democratic legislatures, legislators from Wisconsin and Indiana. And so that's um, focusing on the tax situation in Illinois, which has been increased. Uh, they do have high taxes there. Um, and then they're also, they are also attracting legislators from uh, Wisconsin and Indiana. It's a strange situation that's happening in the Midwest. And obviously Terry Branstad's covering it very closely. And we are here too at Blue Green Fusion. All right, according to West Des Moines Councilman Ted Umart, um, he does not agree completely with Terry Branstad's proposals. Uh, Omar said he worries that Branstad's commercial real estate plan will make new construction more attractive than existing buildings. Two, two building owners with different tax bills will be able to charge different rents, he said. It incentivizes people to move out, Omar said. And so that's also concerned with me that rather than using existing structures in downtown Des Moines, uh, there's um, an attraction or a created attraction to move out um, and create more sprawl in the surrounding suburbs. So that's an issue too. But anyway, that's how that was covered. Boundless Drive. Mill Civic Parkway. Okay, so just a few more articles, and this is Danger Scene in Biofuels Push. This is President, ex former President Clinton, and former Governor Tom Vilsack discussing biofuels. And that is in the Friday, February 25th edition of the Des Moines Register. Food energy needs must be balanced, Clinton warns. I'm not going to read that article in full, but it is available in the Friday 25th Des Moines Register. And I'll just go ahead and say that um, biofuel, biomass, bioalcohol, um, bioethanol has had a great deal of controversy in terms of various industries banding together to challenge uh, its sustainability and value to um, consumers. And so there's a great deal to read on both sides of the issue. There was um, a recent uh, gathering of the biofuels industry here in the Des Moines area, lots of information shared there as well. But it's an interesting um, um, industry to cover because there's a lot involved with it. This is Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield, which is in downtown Des Moines, across the street from the downtown Central Library. Blue Cross and Blue Shield, Downtown Central Library.